It's Ashley from Ashley's Got Book Excitement, and it's book haul time. Yes. No, I don't have a very big haul today. Um, I still haven't gotten any books from the library. Oh, maybe it's a good thing. It doesn't feel like a good thing at all. But anyway, so I just got. It's not a very big haul. So let me get get to it. Um, the first one, The Rising, the new kid book two. So this is actually a sequel to this book um, by Temple Matthews. And I picked this first book up mainly because the cover just looks so cool, really. And I'm not, this is a sequel, of course. It also has a, it's a cool cover. Um, but it's like this kid, it says the new kid, ridding the world of evil one high school at a time. I don't know, it just looks really good. The books are really big, though. They're like... Um, they're not the same size as, you see, you see what I mean? Like normal, humongous, but yeah, so The Rising should be good. Then I got, um, Insatiable by Meg Cabot. This is, I believe, her vampire, um, novel. Yeah, sick of hearing about vampires, so is Mina Harper. But then she meets a vampire or something. This is, I guess this is the paperback copy. Well, duh, it's a paperback. But, um, because the hardback has a different copy, and I actually don't mind this one. I kind of like it. Um, I love Meg Cabot's books anyway, so this one should just be, it should be fun. Yay! Uh, then I got 20s Girl by Sophie Kinsella. You know my love for Sophie Kinsella. Uh, she just, I think she has the funniest, funniest, funniest books. And so this one is about a girl named Laura who is visited by ghosts. And it's the spirit of her great aunt Sadie who wants, a neck, wants Laura to find a missing necklace. So, I don't know. It should be cute. I, as I said, I love her books. I love these little paperback ones, too. Like, these are, I don't know. There's just something about these paperbacks that I like. Then I got Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Um, I bought this one a while ago. Actually, I bought all these ones a while ago, but I had picked, I picked up Delirium, which I haven't read yet, and... Everybody had been talking about this one, too, and I think this one is... Let me see if they have a little summary. Yeah, it says, After she dies in a car crash, teenage Samantha relives the day of her death over and over again until she finally discovers why she has been given this chance. So, yeah. Can't wait to start it. Then I got uh, Destined by Jessie... Harold, Harl? I don't know. Um, it's an interesting book. Like, I don't know. It's got a weird... Just, you probably see it. It's got a weird sheeny. It's, like, kind of hard. And it's written like this with a bunch of spaces. Um, I don't know. This one is Greek mythology retold, kind of. Um, it sounds interesting. It's like the story of Psyche and Eros, which... Is Cupid in Psyche. Yeah, Cupid being the son of Aphrodite, and Psyche is the girl that, I think, is it Psyche? I don't know how you say that. But in the myth, Psyche is the girl that he falls in love with, kind of, and he keeps her in this, like, magical house. Um, and he comes to visit her every night, but she's not allowed to look at him. And then one night she looks at him, and because she looked at him, um, it's over, kind of. So I'm interested to see how this one goes, because I've never read one. I've never read a Greek retelling of Cupid and Psyche. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And then the next ones are all in a series. Um, I have heard mainly bad things about this. Well, I've heard bad things about it from, from Allie. Allie hates this series. Allie from Wing Review, she hates them. 
But I had bought this one. I had bought Hourglass by Cynthia. No, by Claudia Hand. Why was I going to say Cynthia? Claudia Gray. Man, I just messed that whole thing up. I bought Hourglass by Claudia Gray um, when Walmart was having like their discount books. And it's the third one in this... What's it called? Is it the Evernight series? I don't know, but it was the third one in this series. And I can't just... I have to have the first ones in order to read the third one. You know what I mean. So I just picked up cheap-ish copies of Evernight and Stargazer. If I hate them, I can always just resell them. Um, I'm not sure. The girl's name is Bianca. She goes to Gothic Evernight Academy. Um, yeah, so it's like a supernatural school kind of book. Not like in the vein of Hogwarts, but I'm guessing like in the vein of maybe Vampire Academy or what's that other one? House of Night series kind of. Yeah. So I was kind of disappointed though with this one. It was the only copy I could find, but it has some nasty stain on it. I don't know what this is. It's gross, so I'm not, but this is purely just so I can read it, see what I think of it. If I hate it, I'll sell it. I'll probably sell it anyway, just, yeah. But so I got those. And that is all the books that I got. It is hardly any at all compared to my previous hauls. So what'd you guys get in your mailbox? Comment me if you like with, with what you got. Like it if you want to. And subscribe if you haven't already. Yay. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Um, yeah.